Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Christine Crutcher from Create with Christine, and I am here with ATN Techniques episode this morning. So I'm back this week, and I'll talk about at the end um, where I was last week. So today I'm going to do embossed resist technique, and here's the sample I'm going to stamp with you. So I was actually torn because I had in my head to do this with polished pink. Um, I'm using the Elegantly Said Bundle, so that's a stamp set. And I keep reaching for this because all the great words and sentiments in the stamp set and then the great punch that coordinates. So I once I decided on polished pink, I kind of almost was going to switch to use the Expressions and Ink um, paper to go with. But I ended up sticking with the Elegantly Said, and this is part of a suite of products called Simply Elegant. So if you have the 2021-2022 catalog, I'm on pages 68 and 69. So I'm actually using all the products in the suite. And I think I mentioned this last week in some of my Facebook posts, but the suites are all different um, in this catalog, but they all include a bundle, whether it's a punch bundle, or a um, stamp set and dies bundle that you'll need a uh, cut and boss machine for. And this, some of them are different about what the, like the third or fourth accessory is. So for this one, it's um, simply elegant trim and it comes in silver and gold in a two pack. So I have some of the trim, the designer series paper, and then the bundle with the stamp set and the punch going on today. So I'm actually going to point my camera down and get started because I have a bunch to cover. I just want a bunch of announcements and um, yeah, so let's get stamping. Okay, so I'm just going to find myself in my feed. I see that I popped up. So again, here's the project for today and looks like I am in the right spot. So that's good. So I'm going to start by doing all the stamping and get that out of the way. Um, so I'm going to be stamping the sentiment and the floral image here. So just again, I'm using elegantly said, and then I'm using the punch. And right from the catalog, you'll see there's an example on page 68 where they've elongated the punch. So I kind of kind of got my inspiration from that. And then at the top, of page 69, you'll see that they told you exactly the measurement for your cardstock, one and three quarters. And I'm gonna show you how to um, kind of just elongate. And I just left the, the tag straight at the bottom, but you can get even fancier than I did. This is kind of a fancy suite, but uh, my card's not super fancy. I haven't done heat embossing in a while. So I wanted to feature heat embossing because our powders changed with this new annual catalog. So we have two, uh, let me just show you the powders really quick before I start stamping. So we have two powders. I'm using the basics and the basics gives you black, clear, and white. And you kind of got to be a little bit careful with the clear and the white. Make sure you read your label because they look kind of similar. Um, so I'm going to use the white embossing powder and my heat tool. So it's going to get a little noisy, but nothing too, nothing too crazy. And you'll notice on my thank you, I scoured today looking for my embossing buddy. Uh, so if you are into heat embossing, you'll know what the, uh, embossing buddy is, but it's a little tool that you rub on your cardstock before you, um, stamp your Versamark and then heat it up is how I'm gonna do this technique today. But I couldn't find my embossing buddy. So my thank you doesn't look as great as it should. But okay, enough talking. I am gonna jump right in. So let's, let's do the punch first just to get that out of the way so I don't screw up. Um, okay, so this is the tag punch. I'm going to put in from the top, but then I'm going to pull 
out the bottom of the punch and just kind of pull. I don't want to go all the way to the top, so I want to make sure I'm still in there, and then I'm just going to punch. So this is one and three fourths was the measurements in the catalog by five, and this is the little scrap I have at the top. Actually, this kind of makes an interesting um, shape as well. This punch makes a lot of interesting shapes. Uh, so more to come on that. On Tuesday, I'm going to do my Casing Tuesday project. I'm going to use the same bundle, and I'm going to feature a different way to use it. So the punch. So I just have my Versamark, and I'm going to ink up my floral stamp. This is this kind of, well, I guess there's only one floral stamp, and I'm already screwing this up. I'm going to go this way at the top and you're not you I can see it but I know it's going to be hard for you to see it so let me after I get this one first a mark it's just going to give it like a watermark look I'm going to rotate the stamp and I kind of got to find where it is so I'm seeing like a a slight watermark it's I don't even I think maybe you can kind of sort of see it now and let me just stamp the thank you. There's two small stamps, a thank you and a for you. So I'm just gonna do both of these. Uh, I'm gonna do the thank you. This will be a little easier to see because it's a little bit tone on tone on the polished pink. So this is a two by two polished pink and then a one and three fourths uh, by five ba uh, basic white. And I'm gonna bring over two pieces of scrap computer paper, eight and a half by 11. And I'm gonna be a rebel and just do this all at once. I hope this works, but I'm gonna take my white embossing powder. Ooh, I have a pink speck in there. I wonder where that came from. Pour. So this is where it would be very helpful if I had an embossing buddy, especially for my thank you. I'm actually just going to put the cover on so I don't spill by accident. With the tag, it's a little bit easier. I'm just going to pick it up and kind of tap off the excess. And that doesn't look too, too bad, but I want to clean it up with a paintbrush. So I'm just going to come over here. Hopefully you're seeing this all. I'm gonna, at the top, I have some powder and I'm just going to take it off with a paintbrush and maybe over here a little bit where I don't want the powder to be. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Tap off a little bit. I'm just gonna put that to the side this is going to be interesting because I don't really have anything to pick this up, but hopefully it came out okay. It doesn't actually look too bad, but I definitely got to go upstairs. I think I put my embossing buddy in with my retired stuff when I, because we don't sell it anymore. Oh, I just went right into my tea and thank you. Okay. I'm going to just put that to the side. I am going to pick this up, make a funnel, and funnel it right back into the container. Okay. It's pretty good. Okay. Put those to the side. And now I'm ready to heat up with my heat gun. And I gotta be careful because my table is plastic. And I have the old um, black heat gun with me. I have a different one, but I don't know where it is right now. So hold on, this is gonna get kind of loud while I heat up. The tag is gonna be easier because I can hold it at the top while I heat.
Okay, so my thank you didn't come out as great as I had hoped, but it's okay. My tag came out beautiful. And this is the Real Emboss uh, Resist Technique. So you'll see that it turns nice and shiny, and that's when you know that it's all heated up so you can actually watch it turn. And then I'm just gonna bring over my polished pink ink pad and a blending brush. And I learned this step from a good friend is to use your Stamparatus plate to rub off. So I'm just inking up with some polished pink and I'm going to rub it on the clear of my embossing plate. And then I'm just going to go right over my image. I have some scrap paper here so I don't get ink on my table. And I actually, in my original sample, I left some white space so I didn't even cover it completely. So I kind of liked that look, but you can add some more ink if you need some more ink. And it really starts to pop with the white embossing powder heated up with this technique. So this is so much fun. You could color these different shades. Um, you really could have some fun. And there's multiple ways you could color this. So maybe in a future video, I'll do emboss resist with other different ways you can color. But for today, this is gonna be the project. Okay, so I like how that looks. So I'm gonna get my ink out of the way and just put my layers together then just finish up with some announcements. So now you can kind of see how I was thinking the expressions in ink paper would be really cute with this because the um, that paper's got the polished pink in it. So I am just gonna take a quick sip of tea. It is 90, it hit 90 here yesterday and wow, it is warm. Uh, next week is Memorial Day, so that's the unofficial start to summer, but we kind of went right into summer this week, so I have to transition from hot tea to cold tea soon. So just to talk about my layers here, I have a polished pink um, card base, so four and a quarter by 11, and then scored in half at five and a half, and then I have a basic gray layer that's three and three fourths by five, and then I have my designer series paper and I did not grab it but this is the designer series paper where like on the back um, it's specialty so on the back it's kind of got gold silver and copper on it I just wanted to use the gray side to match the gray and then kind of bring in some of those elements with the silver trim so the designer paper is um let's see I don't think I wrote it down the designer series paper is two and a half by five. Okay, let's just layer these up with a little bit of liquid glue. And I kind of went towards the left. I didn't put this um, totally in the middle. So whether you're catching the replay um, or gonna join me live here, thanks so much for tuning in. I did have to take last week off because my mother-in-law is was very, very ill, uh, but she's stable right now, so that's the good thing. Okay, so let's do the ribbon embellishment. So this is a five inch piece of the polished pink open weave in color ribbon. Then I just have a five inch piece of the Simply Elegant trim and I'm just gonna kind of line these up and tie them in a knot so the silver trim will go right through so everybody can do a knot. So if my schedule has to change because of her care, I will be sure to let you know on my mailing list and on my Facebook. Uh, I had to move my class, so 
this week I am doing my first in-person event in seven months, but my first in-person event in 14 months at my house. So my last in-person event was in Maine at a retreat that was socially distanced back in October, but I haven't done an event here at my home in 14 months. So I'm just gonna layer this on. That's I use the stamp, stamp and Seal Plus. And if you have this and you're struggling with it, the only thing I can say is it's a light touch and I release up instead of kind of releasing to the left or the right. And then with my little ribbon embellishment, I'm gonna put this on with the glue dot. And let me show you what I did here. So I adhered this right in the middle. And then you can, can, eh, you can decide. I put one side through the punch and then one side out. So I'm gonna put try this side. I might have to kind of move this to maneuver it. There's no adhesive on the very tippity top. So see, I just tucked one edge under like that and this edge out and I thought that was super cute and I can cut off my tails of the ribbon. I'm just gonna let the silver trim hang. You could cut it if it bothers you that it's a little bit longer now. But then I'm gonna fix this and I just put my little thank you kind of over here so I'm not covering up too much of the embossed resist. And I just did that with the liquid glue. So that is my project. Let me show you the final card with the sentiment. And I'll have all the measurements and all the products listed below. And you can also find all the details on my blog at christinestamps.blogspot.com. So I'm also gonna use this bundle the elegantly said for my casing Tuesday project this week. So what I'm doing is I'm normally doing my Sunday uh, project. I start featuring a product of the week. So this week it's gonna be the elegantly said bundle. So the stamp set and the punch. So I'll also show another project on Tuesday, on casing Tuesday, and you can find that information on my blog at christinestamps.blogspot.com. Let me grab my stamp camp so I can give you a look at that. It's just over my shoulder. And I have the four cards over my shoulder. There's also going to be a gift card holder. So um, I wanted to show this. I also used the blending brushes to color in. Uh, some of the stamped images, and this is the embossing folder. So this stamp camp registration is closing this Tuesday, uh, May 25th at noon, and it's going to be in person. So if you're local and catching this uh, before Tuesday, I have a 5.30 slot on Thursday and the 27th, and I also have a 7 o'clock slot, and there's room in both right now. So I'm trying to spread out uh, just so if people are still a little uncomfortable. Here's card number three and here's card number four. So I'm gonna put the host code, but there's two ways you can sign up. You can purchase an order over $30 in my store by Tuesday with host code XFB29F2S and I'll put that exact host code below with the link to shop. Or you can just buy the kit for $20 and I will ship you the kit by Friday uh, via USPS mail. And if you wanna come in person, you can actually place your order, your $30 qualifying order while you're here with me at class in person. And yeah, I think that is everything. I'm gonna put the camera back up at my face to finish up. Oh, hey, Kathy. Good morning. I don't know why on my computer I'm following along, but I can't see if anybody's watching. So that's something new that just happened a couple weeks ago. Sometimes I can see when people are live watching, but sometimes I can't. So anyways, um, I did also want to mention 
that the join special ends a week from tomorrow, May 31st. And I know I haven't been on to promote it that much, but if you do have a long wish list, uh, it's $56 free uh, right now through May 31st, 2021. So you pick out $155 and you pay 99 plus tax. Um, it's free shipping for this one uh, kit order and you also get a paper pumpkin in that kit. So again, if you're looking at the, the new annual catalog um, and your wish list is pretty long, I will definitely be sending some stuff out later this week about joining and the specials that, if you're part of my team, the specials that I offer. I offer my um, stamp camps, the tutorial directions for free for my team members and we have monthly team meetings and they've been virtual so you don't have to live near me um, in Massachusetts or Southern New Hampshire to be part of my team. You can be anywhere in the United States. So that's it for me for this week. And again, uh, I'll have all the details below of how to shop, how to join, and uh, the measurements of today's project. So I just also want to say I have caught up and I think everybody that I owed something to, I have been in touch with you and delivered. But if in the past two weeks you have, I have promised you something, please send me a message or a text uh, just to remind me because it's been a little chaotic around here. So that's it. I will see you again next week. And thank you for all your thoughts and prayers and messages uh, for my mother-in-law, Rose. Again, she's stable, but uh, it's going to be a long haul. So thanks so much. Have a great week.